You'll notice that there is a new command in the command box. It's called an if statement. You use it when you want your program to make a decision. Like a loop, you can drag commands into it, but the commands will only be executed if the condition is true. What this means here, for example, is if the cat is on a coin, walk forward and turn left. If the cat isn't on a coin, it will ignore these, these uh, commands. You can change the condition parameter by clicking on it. So for example, here we can say, if the cat is on a white tile, walk forward and then turn left. However, before I show you how to solve this level with an if statement, I'll quickly write the program the way that we have done in the past. So, first of all, let's see what we need to do. So we need to get the cat from here to here, which is pretty much a straight line. So the cat walks in a straight line, but at certain points, the cat needs to go off the path and collect a coin. And we need to do this three times. So, first of all, I'm going to add two walk commands, um, and then I'm going to use a function. So we'll get to here and then I'll use a function to collect the coin. The reason why I'm going to use a function is that I can see that I'm going to collect three coins and so I can save space by using a function. So the function to collect the coin will be turn right, walk forward, pick up, turn around, walk forward, turn right. I'm going to, show, I'm going to step through the code now so you can see how that works. So if I press step, I walk forward once, I'm here. If I press step again, I walk forward again, I'm here. Now, when I press step again, it's gonna jump into the function and it's gonna start executing that code there. So if I press step, it jumps into the function. First thing it does is it turn right, so you can see the cat's turned right. And now the cat walks forward, picks up, turns around, walks forward, turns right. Now, uh, to do the, the remainder, I just need to do the same. I need to walk forward twice again and and call the function, walk forward, call the function, and then finally walk forward. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Uh, and that should be it. So if I press run, that should collect all the coins and get to the finish line. Okay, great. So that got us to the finishing line, only got us two stars though because we used 15 commands rather than the 10. In order to get 10 or fewer commands, we need to use an if statement. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do now. So, um, if we, so if we look at the level, we can see that actually what we were doing is every time we got to a white tile, we were uh, calling the function to get the coin. So we did it there, there, and there. So we can use that to our advantage. So first of all, I'm gonna create a loop, and in the loop, I'm gonna say walk forward, and I'm gonna say walk forward one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gonna get us to the, to the um, finishing line. It's not gonna collect the coins, but it will get us to the finishing line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the old program, and I'm going to add an if statement to my loop. And in this, I'm gonna say, if we're on a white tile, so if we're on a white tile, this one, this one, or this one, I want to call the function, because this is what I was doing there anyway. Yeah. But this way, the program, the cat's making the decision on its own. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna step through the code, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So first, I'm gonna do step, you walk forward. Uh, press step again. Now we're in the if statement, and the first thing it asks is, it. If I'm on a white tile, am I on a white tile? No, I'm not on a white tile. So because it's not on a white tile, it won't execute the code in the if statement. So it will ignore that and it will leave and come back around and do another step and walk forward. So there you go there. Then this time, I'm actually on a white tile now. So when I press step, it's gonna say, yeah, I'm on a white tile and it's gonna jump into the function. So if I press step, you see it, it asks the question quickly. It says, if I'm on a white tile, yeah, I am. It jumps into the function straight away. Uh, and turns right, so you can see the cat's turned right. So again, if I step through, pick up, turn around, walk forward, turn right, you see the function's doing exactly what it did before. Um, and now I can just run the program and it should just work.
brilliant. And so this time we got three stars because uh, we only used 10 commands. Um, all the levels in this section can be solved with a loop where you walk forward a specific number of times like we did here, where we walk forward six times. Um, and then you can use if statements to make the decisions as you move around.